Evening YouTube, Mar38 here. So this last week's been a pretty eventful week. Um last Thursday we ended up having a huge patch where they discussed the bright future for Dead by Daylight. All new content DLCs. New this, new that, new this, new that. What's the one thing they didn't talk about? Fixing the dang game. Well, earlier this week a clip was brought to my attention from our good old friend, hashtag Blame McLean. Um, coder, good guy. Um, that had a very interesting sight on the experiment. Was kind of confused for it. We'll kind of review that as we go. Um, but this video is going to be a mixture of a few things. Um, response to McLean, the fight for balance, and my actual honest opinion on how I think the emblem system is just the developers trying to pull wool over our eyes. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about it. Um, go through these things one by one. Um, this is not going to be a bashing video, but it's just going to be a wholehearted behavior, McLean and the rest of the developers. A nice stab to maybe it's time to finally start balancing your game. So, but let's go ahead and start and discuss these things and. We'll go into further detail with some stuff, and we'll go from there. Evening, guys. Appreciate you guys stopping by. So, we're going to go ahead and start touching basis on the first thing that was the eventful thing that happened this week that a lot of you guys have taken out of... Not really context, but you guys have been chilling, having a huge discussion about it, and kind of flaming the poor guy. Um, he is not... A developer in the sense of balancing and things like that he's just the coder his opinions are just like my opinions they don't actually take context into things getting balanced um so let's go ahead and start touch bases with the clip I'll discuss it and put it into further detail kind of hope to shed some light for those who aren't familiar with my experiment or familiar with what McLean was talking about. Um, and then, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first clip. You saw Marth 88 Experiment 50 Survive with Friends games with perks and add ons and no voice com. Zero pips for killer. 100 games of voice com, no perks and add ons, 12 pips for killer. Yeah, 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 I heard. I don't know what his point is because nobody said that it was balanced. So he's like, like, see, there's a problem in the game. And everyone's like, yeah, we know. What's your point, Marth? Well, what is the point of this experiment? You literally state, McLean, that we already know. You've not taught us anything new. Well, then I have a very, very valid question for you. Why hasn't things been fixed? If you guys literally knew that the game was as bad as I'm showing it to be, that your guys' core objective is this bad, why are you guys just so oblivious to the fact, is what it really seems like. Um, and if you don't believe me <laughs> on how I can speak that and be truthful and serious-faced about that, is... Makote statement. We all know about the civilization statement. If you don't like it, go play another game or play Survivor. Really? Okay. All right. You know, that's fine. Okay. That one's long gone and passed. And then I think it was 7.3.5 or... No, that's... I'm thinking about the WoW patch. Whatever the most recent balancing patch you guys had with the pig. Um, with... Um... The balance fix. Not a bug, but a balance fix where you made it to where flashlights 
and pallets no longer required skill <laughs> to save your teammates. At any time during the pickup animation, you could either blind or throw the pallet down, and they would be immediately saved as to the end of the animation. Well, if you guys thought the game was not balanced and agree with the fact that survivors are strong, which McLean did in his clip, um, WTF, <laughs> like really, like you guys thought that was a good balance fix? Like, okay, all right, all right, all right, that one's long gone and good to go. Okay, we'll let that go. You know, you guys understood. Okay, you guys screwed up. You let that one go. Um, and then the most re two recent DLC killers that we've had. Freddy and Pig. Okay. As the killers have come out, they have become gradually weaker and nerfed to the ground because your rank 20s that refuse to learn how to get good against these killers... You pretty much made their gets completely worthless at rank 1. Your two killers that you most recently came out with, their counters are the two most commonly used perks in your game. Freddy, his kryptonite is self-care. We proved that in our no perk experiment. Freddy's are deadly when survivors can't self-care out of the freaking sleep state. Pig, her ambush attack gives a hell of a lot of notice. Oh, and if the survivor runs Sprint Burst, they outrun the, 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 the ambush attack. Okay? So, what does that mean? You guys don't take into consideration you, what's your meta, what perks you've got in the game before you design your killer kits. Every killer that has come out since literally the Huntress. Like, the only good killers that you guys have come out with is... In the whole batch. Billy, which was an OG killer. The Nurse, which was the very first DLC character. And the Huntress. The Huntress gets screwed by hitboxes from time to time. But a damn good Huntress, shown by like streamers like Scott John, Zubat, can play the Huntress at really good skill levels. And they can be deadly. Every other killer is very weak in their own mind. And especially once you get further down the tier list. And the thing is, is we've needed, and this is the biggest thing I laugh at the most, is back a few patches ago, you guys made this huge, huge deal about your map balancing. That we have this whole new system to where we're going to nerf the pallets. We understand pallets are so overpowered, and we're finally trying to fix the game for you killers. Matt Walker comes on stream and starts going off on the how so many pallets have left the game. We have fixed the pallet system. It's still a work in progress, but it's getting better. BS. Um... The next, very next slide after he explained the pallets on a boat, um, he brings up the Grim Pantry, where all they did was literally just remove one pallet. One pallet on Grim Pantry. But there was something that he really didn't discuss in full detail, which a lot of people have noticed. Um, during that same stream, he announced that they adjusted the min and the max amount of pallets per maps. The min and the max. Um, we re we don't see the maximum reduction. We don't. One pallet. whoop de doo But the minimum is like shelter woods is now safety woods. You've got new pallet spawns across so many maps to where now... It's still just as easy to run killers and actually sometimes better because the only time, like with the old pallet system at least, they would be stuck in this particular area and then there's more, there were more dead zones back in the day. Now there's less dead zones, so it's a little just, you know, 
wanted to run air. You run in a direction, you're going to find a pallet. Nine times out of ten, you're going to find a pallet if you run in a particular direction. Unless you're like the third person running and your teammates have used the pallets. But more than likely, you'll still find a pallet. Most of the time. Um, but enough said with that. Um, I can kind of touch a little bit more basis on that. But I want to let the second part of the clip play and kind of hit home with this. So give, let's go ahead and listen to the second clip. You just wrecked a bunch of people's days for no reason. We already knew that. Like, I, I hope he at least enjoyed himself while he was doing that, so at least somebody had fun. Otherwise, nobody was having fun, and I don't think anybody learned anything either. If you didn't learn anything from this, then you're arrogant and you're oblivious to your game. Um, We played 100 games with absolutely no perks. If we were wanting to ruin the killer's day, we would sit there and run all DS, which technically we're doing now. Brand new parts, insta med kits, flashlights galore. You know, the things that actual survivors do at rank 1, most of them at least. Granted, they may not play optimally, but just in regards to the kits that they bring along. All their second chances that you guys have given them. Um, It's like, out of 100 games in our perk lists... Perkless, might I add, killers only had a 1.01 kill ratio against perkless survivors. Okay, I want to lay a little bit of knowledge out to everybody that's here. Okay, you guys are in a game to where a lot of people focus on their rank. Well, I finally have come to realize a couple of days ago that rank means jack shit. I've been one person who has loved to play this game competitive. I always wanted to get bigger, better, and always find ways to improve my kill style. The thing is, is the developers have put in this PIP style ranking system to cover up how bad their core objective is. Um, because this game is four survivors versus one killer. The goal is to survive or to kill. Okay, you've got secondary objectives, you know, you can, you know, you get chase points or, you know, save your teammates, you know, things like that, that work towards their particular ranking system. But by the end of the day, realistically, the game is surviving or killing. Um, most survivors really don't try to survive because they just want to bully the killer. You know, that's fun to them because playing the way we're playing just to get the gens and to get out is too easy this is your core objective of your game we're not using any special tricks any special tools we're just doing what your game's baseline is doing the gens and surviving as a whole the killer is chasing one survivor okay all right so my teammate is being chased around okay so in theory, what else are we supposed to do? Are you, are you purposely telling us we were wrecking killers because we refused to chase dull totems or to open chests, um, sabo hooks, go spin around in big circles and meme with each other? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you guys balanced your game around survivors actually purposely screwing around. To at least let the killer have fun. Mind boggling. I have never seen a PvP game ever do that before. Interesting system. I commend you guys on that. Um, but here's the thing. You guys are really missing the point that yes, granite survivors may not play like we do i admit that they don't reason being is because it's boring and too easy i have seen so many good survivors leave this game because of how stupid easy it is surviving really doesn't take skill it doesn't like you can watch streamers who play survivor all the time and then go switch to play killer for a little bit 
and you will see them go from their Mimi happy selves to stressed out, annoyed <laughs> most of the time. Because there's just so much crap you have to deal with as a killer. Okay, low rank people, low hour people will never know this. They don't, they're not part of the game long enough to realize it. Has the game gotten a little bit better from what it was back in the day? Yeah, you've given us a few band-aids. The um, Entity Blocker, Bloodlust, or what a lot of people like to call it, Crutch Lust. Um, you did a slight nerf to borrow time to prevent tunneling. Okay. Um, you did a pallet buff thing just that way we didn't have to actually use brutal strength which in return still doesn't do nothing because there's still way too many pallets on the map I'm probably missing a couple of other small band-aids that never actually helped this game out it just band-aided it to cover up the fact that you guys just aren't wanting to fix your stuff it's like we've been begging for this stuff for a long time from the killer community okay literally on the last stream or two you guys said that fixing the sounds was low priority but fixing the heartbeat sound for the survivors was high priority which you guys fixed almost immediately but yet sound occlusions which, of course, you guys attempted to fix that in the last PTB and it wasn't fixed anyway. And scratch marks, which people... I didn't get to see on myself because the PTB was a little too slow queue for me and I was had a vacation that weekend. But I've heard from some killers that the scratch marks got a little bit better. I applaud you on that. But the thing is, is problems that we've had since day one of this game being launched, we still have in this game. 100%. For killers. Survivors, I st there's a few getting stuck in the points and stuff like that, but they've been given so many utilities to give them a lot of oops cards, and we're not out to wreck killers, we're out to prove a point that you guys are trying to push this game to go more competitive with leaderboards coming up soon or whenever they come out. Why do leaderboards matter when it's not even a competitive game? Like, you guys have turned this game from a, a potential great game into a we meme for blood points just to level up our characters and to level and level and level, but ranks don't mean nothing. I really would like it's like I had a nice sit down with Queen the problem is is it really seems like you guys just aren't getting the point and it's one of those situations to where it's like I don't understand how you guys buy out the rights to your game but yet don't actually show any emphasis on actually trying to fix it. You guys, okay, made a huge announcement the first day or dev stream after you guys, you know, bought the rights or were going through the process of buying the rights because I don't think it was 100% finalized at that time about all this new lovely content and things that you guys are wanting to do in regards to a new killer and map every you know new killer survivor once every season yeah cool a balance patch in between each one of the, the dlcs sorry i kind of chuckled at that because you're guys balance patches um and then you guys are going to push out ptbs for everything now because you guys have tended to figure out that um bugs bugs and more bugs uh coding qa not enough we need help from the community commend you on that you guys know the qa team can't catch everything which of course they can't but at least you guys can prevent a lot of backlash from previous mistakes commend you on that you guys are taking a right step in that future the problem is is your guys's balance patches 
no offense or a joke. I have seen this long-awaited Wraith Cube fall and fail miserably. Still the second weakest killer in the game. If Freddy receives any good buffs anytime soon, Wraith will be the, the worst killer in the game still. Um, like, you literally, like, all you would have to do for Freddy is literally just make it to where his putting you to sleep interrupts. And you, and you can't do anything during that action. <laughs> and maybe reduce his sleep time just a little bit. And a couple, and then removing self care from the wake up list. Freddy would be a mid tier killer. And Wraith would be back at the bottom feeding again. It's like we waited two years for that Wraith cube patch. Okay. Um, Hex totems. Been a problem since Hag release. You guys have known how bad totem spawns are. We still haven't seen that fixed yet. We still see how generators are fa done fast. You know, it's like nothing. Like, you guys, like, make new content and break the game to where you have to spend a little bit of time you guys have fixing your game from the new stuff you put in. And it's one of those situations I understand you guys need money. My suggestion to you guys is stop with the new content DLCs. Focus on your bug fixing and push out cosmetics. Let your art team do the cosmetics. You guys focus on your balancing. We all know people love frou-frou stuff. It's the nature of the internet. Okay. But that aside, okay, there was a couple of dev streams ago. Before, you know, when you guys were, you know, when you guys first started hearing about my experiment through the dev stream, of course, where then Not Queen came and talked to me. A question was asked on Reddit, okay, about, let's go ahead and bring this up so we can read it, okay, question number four, which is highlighted. Have you seen the videos by Marth88? I want to know, when are you going to finally fix SWF? Since it is such an overpowered feature, I hope this is your top priority and you'll release something ASAP, okay? SWF, we already know is OP. That wasn't the goal of this. This was, the goal of it was to show that when survivors actually try to do their core objective, which is to survive, survivors have too much control of this game. Killer's timer is too short. Survivors can just destroy the timer immediately with all their second chance perks. A killer just, they don't have enough time in the game. There's just too much stuff survivors have in their kit to re, pretty much, if, it, if they literally wanted to get in and get out like we've been doing, there's absolutely nothing. Not even skilled killers can deal with it. It's like, it's, it's something that is just completely disgusted this game. And <laughs> it's like, I understand they want to have fun. I want to have fun too as a killer. I love being killer. I can still kill like a madman on killer. Zubat kills all the time on killer. You know, Scott Jun, there's a lot of good killers out there that are still destroying survivors. And it's not because they're, they just wreck everybody. It's because the survivors don't play the game like they're supposed to. They try to bully survivors. You know, it's like the, you know, us great killers. And there's many, many more I haven't announced, you know, because there's, there's just, there's a f several of us that can do really well. We know how to capitalize on these stupidity survivors. Oh, you're going to be super aggressive. Well, thank you. You're going to hit slug and I'm going to go chase your other teammate. Thank you. You appreciate, you know, the pressure that I sh didn't earn. You gave it to me. You know, it's like, it's one of those situations to where it's like, <laughs> okay, I, I, I won the game because the survivors gave it to me. It's literally how the games are nowadays, okay? So, Queen ended up responding to this, okay? I don't know if this was her response, dev team response, you know, more likely of someone from the dev stream, I, I don't know. But the response was, we think the emblem system will be taking a lot of pressure off the killer's shoulders. Okay, so the emblem system, okay, before I continue talking about this thing, okay, survivors, I'm going to give you a fair warning right now, if you are a survivor main, or someone who likes to actually try in this game, believe me, you do not want to watch this video any further, um, 
I'm going to be saying a few things that are going to make you really, 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 really not like this emblem system. So again, Survivor Mains, you may want to step out now. I've warned you. Okay. You just wrecked a bunch of people. Ah. Professional streamer. Forgot to click that button off on my emblem. Okay, so... Here's the thing with the emblem system. Okay. Killer pipping... They're gonna, the reason why they're saying the emblem system is going to be taking more pressure off the killers is for one of two reasons. Okay, the one reason is they're just going to make it so easy for killers that it's not going to be stupid. It's just you know they're even said on the stream, oh they're not going to make it easier for killers in the terms of making it easier. They're still going to have to try. Okay, all right. So if that's the case, okay. So survivors, I'm going to put a scenario out here for you. Okay, how many times have you ever been in games, even in random lobbies? Okay, there's a lot of games where this won't happen, of course, to where you just never see the killer. And you guys are just pounding gens out because just one of your teammates ended up running the killer around and is now getting face camped. You guys get the gens done and you guys get out because, you know, whatever the case may be. Or you guys, the guys, like I've done it myself personally many times. To where, as a survivor, I'm getting chased the whole game. My teammates get the five gens, and we all four get out of the game. Guess what, survivors? Congratulations. You guys just literally whooped that killer's ass. That killer stood no chance against your guys' group. Nice job. You whooped his ass. Or her ass, whichever it may be. But guess what? According to the new emblem system, you lost. Here's the thing. The core objective is to survive by any means necessary. This is the truth. You do what you need to do to survive. The problem is, is if all four of you guys completely and utterly whoop a killer's butt, you're not going to pip. Even in the current system, which is very, very easy for survivors, which sometimes we don't actually pip. But it's almost going to be damn near impossible with the new system. Because you have to get points in each category to even stand a chance to getting close to pipping. And so that means someone's going to have to hit, get hit. And someone's going to have to not pip for others to pip. So someone's going to have to be your little sacrificial lamb on your team. You're going to have to purposely either sandbag one of your teammates so you could save them for your benevolence points. Or two... You guys are literally going to have to play with the killer. You're not just going to be able to get in and get out. If you guys are completely wrecking the killer, you guys are literally going to have to play stupid to get points. And it's like they're promoting Survivor screwing around. Because they can't, because in reality... They can't promote survivors doing their objective and getting out because we've all seen how stupid easy it is. So I guess the only thing that they can do is bring a system out, pull the wool over our eyes, and be like, they, they won't know. They're, they're, they're not going to see it. They're not going to see the beautiful, beautiful participation trophies we're going to be giving them every game. You did a good job. You get your participation trophy. Like, really? Are you guys, like, trying to sap all the skill out of your game? <laughs> like, you guys are wanting to bring leaderboards out. Okay? What's the point? If you don't fix your core game, what's the point of leaderboards? What's the point of a ranking system? You literally don't even, shouldn't even have a ranking system in this game. It's literally like League of Legends normal mode. In reality, it is. You know, or, or normal queue system. Like, you're just queuing into a regular battleground for your... Wow. Or, you know, just different things like that. You're just queuing into a random matchmaking match in Call of Duty. A random PUBG match. Random Fortnite match. There's no point for a ranking system in this game. Because as soon as you actually make survivors actually have to try to survive, the, the survival rate's going to drop up, jump up immediately. The only reason why your guys' stats are so skewed right now is because I'm in it. <laughs> Even in real games, I can screw around and I still survive. Unless I get camped. Why? Because I've got so many second crush perks. I literally played a game of Survivor on Saturday or Sunday. Or what was it, Monday? I can't remember when the hell it was. 
where someone was like, Mark, that's not playing Toxic. And I'm like, oh, you want to see Toxic gameplay? I, I put on DS, Adrenaline, Sprint Burst, and Self Care with a purple flashlight with batteries. And I literally bullied a Myers or was it a Bill? I don't remember who it was. And I literally was purposely putting myself into harm's way and all of us got out. Because it was just like, <clears throat> sorry, buddy. You're just going to get owned. And none of us were a communications team. It was just a random, random group. And the killer at the end of the game was nice SWF group and rage quit. Just typical, just a normal survivor game. Nothing special. I went out to make the killer's time unfun. So, when you say I'm trying to wreck killers, it's like, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to make this game more competitive and fun for everybody. Because right now, you could look at any streamer and watch them play Survivor and watch them play Killer. It's two different play styles. Even some of the damn great killers, they have to try super hard, go super sweaty to even stand a chance. They f go for straight slugs. You know, completely bring their strong add-ons. You know, there's things, it's like, they have to play in such an unfun way as Killer. They can't meme like a Survivor does. They can't screw around with the Survivors to st and still do well. It's like, can we get your game fixed, please, behavior? Like, I'm tired of these participation trophies. I'm tired of these. It's like, can you make your game good? It's one of those situations to where, as a game, it's fun, it's awesome, but... <sighs> the annoyances are getting old. Every new patch comes with more and more bugs that makes the killer side pretty much unplayable competitively at least if you face good survivors and any good killer will tell you if they they form out a group most of the ones that are actually skilled in this game will tell you it's because they threw the game because they were stupid <laughs> there's there's no reason survivors can't do gents it's because they screwed around and they didn't do gents they bumped up and rushed, bum rushed the killer. The point of this experiment is not just to prove survive with friends is strong. We uh, we all knew that was strong. It's to shine a damn light on this game to make this game finally get the fixes it deserves and it needs. You guys have consistently ignored them, made memes of us, and completely nerfed killers or didn't buff them the way they need to. It's like, I'm not asking for drastic changes because I know you guys will never be able to do that with the way the game is coded. I'm just asking to take away some of the secondhand shit that the survivors have. Get rid of DSs. Get rid of brand new parts. You know, maybe get rid of the vacuum palatine to see how that is with the current amount of pallets there are. You know, it's like try things. Okay, oops, you make for a patch, you make killers strong as hell for a patch. Okay, oops, okay, now well, we gotta rebalance it again. We've never had one of those patches. It's like, I see metas to where it's like, it's the standard perks every time. Survivors have so many builds, so many ways they can build, because they don't need perks. Killers, if you're not using particular perks, perks you're going to get wrecked. If you're not using your add-ons, you're going to get wrecked. And even with all of that, you're probably still going to get wrecked against a good team. It's like, yes, I understand that most survivors don't play this way. And thank God they don't. Because I probably would not be in this game anymore if they did. But the thing is, is... <sighs> A lot of your senior players that are still around have tried one way or another to get through to you guys. This is my last ditch effort to get through to you guys before I jump ship. Okay, September is coming quick. From what I remember, last year's coming out sometime this year in beta or maybe the game launch, I don't know, early access. And Battle of Battle 4 Azeroth comes out in September for sure from this point forward I won't be buying anything DBD wise until I see some serious balance patches 
or at least attempts to fix your game. Because you guys won't listen to reason. I've tried playing nice. We've tried talking to you guys, explaining to you guys things. But yet, it's not enough. So, myself personally, I won't be buying any more of your DLC content. Until something changes. And if nothing changes come by September, I don't know if I can even support the game then. We'll see what happens. I have faith in this game because I love it to death behavior. But you guys are seriously killing your game. You guys are becoming the next EA that just wants to pump out DLCs after DLCs and not actually trying or caring to make your game long term. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this gets me cake on my face. Because I don't want this game to end. I Minus World of Warcraft, this game is the second game that I have put the most hours in ever on any video game in my lifetime. But I can't sit here and keep watching day in and day out the obliviousness of your team. You guys, McLean, again, what's your point, Marth? We already knew this. What's your point? McLean. Well, my point is, is if you guys have seen it as unbalanced, why have you guys been so secretive of fixing things? I hope this video doesn't see the light of day. I really do. We will see what happens come your guys' dev stream tomorrow on the 29th. If I don't see anything of tangible value, value this video will come to light. Because as a community, it's like I've tried... I, it's. I can't the memes are getting too strong with your dev element team on how not in tuned with their community you are and we can see it by just the way you guys interact I understand you guys get a lot of crap from the community and you guys take a lot of heat I understand that the thing is is I have not ever seen swift nerfs to killers as fast as I've seen them to like you don't like you guys have swiftly not literally Freddy Krueger you guys have literally you swift nerfed him within two weeks okay or was it a week I can't remember okay there's been things that are more detrimental in your game. Things that have been plaguing this game and making it annoying and unfun as for hell. And it's been around for almost two years in your game. You've got things that are game breaking for the nurse. One of your killers. She can't blink across certain areas of maps. Where's the fixes on those? It's been how long since the pig DLC? They're still not out and fixed. She still has many unblinkable areas. Like, I literally... Like, <laughs> uh, don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going to stop myself there. Um, I've tried warning you guys a lot that the nurse has so many unblinkable areas. Her blink is very, like, it's it needed to be re-examined and looked at. And... You guys then didn't listen. You brought her out a new ability. So now she can blink multi floors, cancel her blink. And now, since then, there's so many maps that she can't even blink on in certain areas. A lot of debris completely dead zones her. But yet, there's not been any swift fixes to that. Pig needs swift buffs. Freddy needs buffs. Nothing happened to those two killers. Wraith's still weak as hell. Nothing's happened to them. You guys understand pallets are broken, but nothing's been done to them. You guys have actually buffed them on some maps. It's like, your guys' balance changes really aren't balance changes. 
And it's one of those situations to where it's like, come on, fix your damn game already. It's like it's going from, you know, trying to help you guys to a plea of desperation. It's like there's so many survivor stream forums, all the experiment doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, I know it's not 100% scientific. But the thing is, is it's shown exactly what it's needed to show. And that is the fact that if survivors try, they run this game. A killer that tries versus a survivor group that tries. That killer has zero chance. Unless the survivors screw up. There is no outplay value. There is no outskill value for the killer. Survivors' objectives are too fast. And there's, they're not punished enough for going on to hooks. Again, this was because killers camp. Well, maybe if you made it to where killers didn't need to camp because you fixed your game. They didn't feel like they had the pressure of the world on their shoulders. Maybe they want to camp. No, they probably still would. What am I kidding? It's the internet. They always People love camping. They love marshmallows and campfires and singing songs. But... In the end, I hope this video does not reach YouTube. I hope it does not see the light of day. I'm hoping this dev stream tomorrow, you guys reveal things that are actually going to change this game for the better. If not, as a community, I hope you guys... <sighs> it's one of those situations to where I think we need to start banding together. It's like, if they literally disregard this experiment, or literally are like, oh no, we're not going to do anything until the summertime because we're focusing on XDLC. What that's pretty much going to tell me is even though if they come up with XDLC, that mid patch is not even going to be really a mid patch because they're going to still be focusing on the next DLC. So the major changes that need to be fixed will never be fixed with this game. It's like hatch standoff has been a thing for two years i've been trying to fight that with them for two years finally they're starting to talk about it almost after two years you know it's like vacuum pallets pallets just it... i literally just want to bang my head on my desk right now it's like i've not i don't understand where the train of thought comes from it's like i understand it's a business and you guys are out to make money i understand that by why wouldn't you guys take a couple of months to actually fix your game to where it's stable and fun to where it attracts the competitive scene and you guys would be making a hell of a lot more money like it's like you guys don't understand that it's like you guys are not gaining new players you're driving them away And it's like most of your big streamers don't really stream DVD anymore. If they do, it's one day out of a month. It's like you still have True. You still have Pug. Morph. Tofu doesn't really stream DVD anymore. I'm trying to think of all Swift's gone. You've got Zubat now, an up and coming streamer. You've got Vince still, but Vince plays Survivor. Like, what killer... Well, actually, let's, let's correct that. What killer main still stream this game? Okay, Scott Judd. Okay, plays the Huntress most of the time. So, that's usually why... It, it's usually, it's the killer mains who have sticking to the strongest killers, I think. Yeah, because Scott sticks usually to Huntress. He's starting to learn Nurse now. You've got Zubat, which is the main three killers, Nurse, Billy, and Huntress. You've got myself, but I'm the idiot that plays every killer and not just the strongest three, so it stresses myself out. You've got True Talent, but True's in the same situation I am. He's pretty much disagrees with everything the devs have been doing. But he's got other games he goes and plays most of the time, too. He still comes back because he wants this game to get better, but yet you don't listen to him either. Pug is a survivor main. He only plays killer when he's drunk. The good reason behind that one. Don't have to tell you why if you can't figure out why he plays killer drunk. You gotta be drunk to enjoy killer. Feels bad. Hmm. 
yeah, there's really nothing left. You you've lost multiple a lot of your community, and it's like those have gotten banned. Well, some of them I agree with, and it's like, can you like just fix your game? Take a couple of months, fix your game, like tell the community, hey, we're taking these two months to actually fix our damn game finally. It's like I remember last January when you guys said you guys were going to stop really focusing on DLCs and you guys were going to fix your game. I'm still waiting. Um, I can't be the positive light for you guys anymore. I've tried to. I talked to Queen. I tried to be the light. I can't do it. I, I just can't anymore. I'm just going to play the game and just not even try to care about it competitively anymore. Because that's the only way I'm going to be able to continue to enjoy this game. It, there's nothing left for this game to offer until something gets fixed. You can bring out any new killer. It's not going to make any difference. They're going to still get looped to oblivion. Or they're going to have such a lackluster power like your last two killers. It's not even going to matter. It's like I'm going to release a set of videos probably within the next week or two. Hopefully. I'm going to try to get, get on as much as I can with my schedule breaking down each killer and things that you guys have just completely ignored and things that need to be fixed and things like that and I'll leave you guys with all of that you guys take it the way you guys want to take it it's your game it's like a lot of us big timers old OG players have been trying to help you guys improve this game for so long it's trying to bring to your guys' attention how bad your game is imbalanced at certain sections of it trying to get the crutch perks removed because it's one way or another it's like I know I had a conversation with Zubat in history recently that he actually doesn't mind DS why is that because he slugs his DS is unbreakable see I have no problem with unbreakable because I really don't slug people it's like if survivors run both those perks they have complete control over that killer that killer does his job he gets punished he downs you, no matter what he does, he gets punished. He picks you up to go take you to a hook, he gets punished. He leaves you on the ground, he gets punished. He has no pressure from that down, whatsoever. None, whatsoever. So, I'm going to leave it at that. This has been a pretty long rant, almost 50 minutes. Um, it's almost midnight my time right now. Um, but, like I said, if you're watching this video, behavior... You guys done fucked up. It's like, as a community, it's like, I can't sit here and speak to people in the way I want to. It's like, I, I can't pull up a room and be like, hey guys, let's go play Civ 5. Let's go play this. You know, let's, let's just let this game die out. I, I don't have that pull in this community. But it's one of those situations to where it's like, it might take something to that drasticness to get you guys to finally realize that you guys need to fix your game. I hope it doesn't come to that point. I hope with you guys purchasing this rights, you guys are actually going to start caring to fix your game, which is something that I'm secretly hoping for, because why would you buy the rights to this game and not fix it? But time will tell. Words only mean so little. Actions speak words. Speaks volumes. <laughs> Tired. To where, you know, it's like, you guys have a damn good game in front of you. It's like, I would love the idea of leaderboards. I love the ideas of new killers. I love all of that. It's going to make this game a hell of a lot better if you guys fix your game first. The problem is, is you can spray perfume on a piece of shit, but it's going to still smell like shit. Straight up. So you could try to throw as many clothes on as you want on this game to pull the wool over our eyes to make the game seem like it's fun and easy for people to play. The problem is, is it's not. People aren't going to stick around for a game like that. It's like a lot of people are going to watch this video and probably aren't even at this point of the video anymore because they turn it off and just saw, oh look, it's another whining killer main. Yeah, I'll take that. I agree. But the thing is with this whiny killer main is, is I know this game. I love this game. I've played both sides of this game. 
and I can see the difference of when I'm playing Survivor and when I'm playing Killer. Killer is stressful, Killer is annoying, and it's not because I'm not good. It's just because that's the way the game is designed. The Killer is not the power role, and it's the Survivors. And the funny thing is, is the Survivors are the ones that are supposed to survive. So, but I hope you guys have a great night. For those who have watched this whole video, I appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to vent our frustrations out and hopefully get the attention of people that need to get attention to. More than likely, this will just get blown off like the rest of everything else because that's what behavior does. They deflect left and right. It's like they're the Spartans of freaking deflections. Um, pretty soon, it's like, if last year wasn't like last decade, we probably wouldn't even be talking like this right now because none of us would be in this game and probably playing last year if it was even somewhat decent. Hopefully it is. Maybe it'll give DBD some competition to where they actually have to fix their shit. But DBD, behavior, because now it's no longer Starbreeze. The clock is ticking. You guys have got a lot of stuff to do. I love your game a lot. Fix it. And other than that, there's not much else I can really say. Other than that, YouTube, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. It's time for this meatball to go to bed. It's late. Love you guys.